circumstances around the economy may be, please don't rush for anything you hear that will give you an extra shilling. Some may be very enticing, but may be very dangerous for you. And I'm not saying this one is dangerous because I do not know, Honorable Speaker, I will wait to hear from uh, government, and I want to believe that the, especially the Ministry of Interior has taken all cautionary measures, including the National Intelligence Service, to establish who these people are. Because, Honorable Speaker, you can, you, from the statement by Honorable Mukunji, the owner of this company, Wildcoin, Sam Altman, has been banned from collecting data in his home country in the U.S. So what is it that the Americans know about Sam Altman that the Kenyan state does not know? That we can allow him to come and harvest all manner of data from our people. And Honorable Speaker, it only came to light because it was at KICC. You can imagine how much more data they may have collected around the country. When the matter came up and it was in the news last night, I saw in WhatsApp groups in my constituency that in a village, a remote village called Lusigeti in Deia, they were there collecting data. And you can imagine if you entice people in our villages with a little money, how many people will volunteer to just give whatever amount of data they can give in exchange for a few uh, shillings or a few thousand shillings. Honorable Speaker, government has a responsibility to protect its people, and its people includes their personal data. And our laws are very clear on that, Honorable Speaker, and therefore commit, uh, I'll push the CS hopefully by tomorrow, latest Tuesday, Honorable Speaker, to have a statement. If he cannot be able to come, I can uh, get a statement that I can read out to the House latest by Tuesday. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Majority Leader.